か。Drones have made a big splash in recent years. You might say they've changed our lives completely. And one of the best things about them is the crazy bird's eye footage that they've been capturing. Let's jump into some of the weirdest drone footage that you will ever see. Iceland volcano drone footage. Where else to start but Iceland? This is a land where fire and ice aren't just a fantasy TV series, but a daily reality. Photographer and drone master Isaac Finn Bogason recently took to the sky over Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula to capture something truly spectacular. On a chilly December day, as snow blanketed the ground, a new volcano decided it was showtime. The result was a nearly two mile long lava vent throwing a party. Check out these streams of magma dancing across the snow like it's the hottest club in town. The fresh lava flowed like a fiery river. It carved its path through the snow, and it created images that could be described as a bit surreal. It's like watching the earth get a fiery makeover. So if you're into the idea of watching the earth remix itself live, then check out this work. It's like nature's own version of a light show, but with more lava and less techno. And if you're worried about the drone, it survived. Unlike our next topic, where the drone got taken down by a sneezing blue whale. In the waters off of Baja, California, a blue whale decided to share a bit of its personal life with the rest of the world. And let's just say it was nothing to sneeze at except it literally was. Christian Miller and his team, equipped with their ingeniously named drone, the Snotbot, found themselves in the splash zone of a whale-sized sneeze. This drone caught a gross-out moment that's as rare as it is gooey. This was a full-on snot salute from the deep. The Snotbot's mission is far nobler than its name might suggest. It flies through the aftermath of whale blowholes to collect snot, which is actually a trove of scientific data. This goo can tell us about a whale's DNA, stress levels, and even pregnancy status, all without bothering the whale too much. It's like getting a health checkup from a distance, which, considering the whale's size, is probably a good idea. Christian Miller, the man behind the drone, sees his work as a way to bring the ocean closer to everyone. He hopes people will learn to respect our blue planet. His approach shows us that science can be a bit snotty, but in the best way possible. Did you know that blue whales were considered a mythical creature until the 19th century? It's true, and the chupacabra is still considered mythical today, until a drone caught one on camera. Check it out. The chupacabra is Latin America's answer to the boogeyman, only with a diet that's strictly liquid. Its name is a combo of the Spanish words for to suck, chupar, and goat, cabra, so it translates to goat sucker. This creature supposedly has a palate for the finer things in life, like uh, goat blood and other domestic animals' blood. It's kind of like a fearsome, possibly non-existent critter that resembles the Sasquatch's less hairy, more vampiric cousin. First popping up in the public eye in 1995 in Puerto Rico, the chupacabra quickly became the prime suspect in a series of animal attacks. It was apparently leaving behind creepy, blood-drained carcasses. Early eyewitnesses described it as a reptilian kangaroo standing upright and giving the stink eye with its huge red peepers. No one has managed to snag a selfie with this elusive creature until now. Original chupacabra. OC, original it's chupacabra. This Texas couple are convinced that they caught one on camera. It looks a little bit different from the descriptions, don't you think? Well, who knows, maybe this one is the real deal. As the legend evolved, so did the descriptions of the chupacabra, with some reports swapping the lizard look for more of a canine vibe, albeit a bald one. These latter-day chupacabras, yeah, they actually turned out to be mangy coyotes or sometimes dogs. And their attacks on livestock were attributed to the desperation of disease rather than a taste for drama. Despite its dubious existence, the chupacabra has nibbled its way into popular culture, starring in low-budget films and probably inspiring a few Halloween costumes. But what's even scarier than that is real nature at full power, like when this drone caught someone in a riptide. 
In a world where drones are mostly known for shooting clips of breathtaking landscapes or the occasional pizza delivery, one drone has taken to the skies for a nobler cause, saving lives. It was a sunny day at the beach, but it turned tense when a boy found himself struggling in the water. This is a situation far too common and always frightening. Enter our hero, the lifeguard drone. This fearless flyer swooped in like a scene from a high-tech episode of Lassie. However, this isn't your average drone. It's equipped with a life buoy, ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. The drone zipped over the waves, way faster than any human could swim. Then it dropped the life-saving buoy to the, uh, boy. With a flotation device within reach, the situation swung from dire to manageable until a human lifeguard could make their way to him. I guess sometimes the best man for the job isn't a man, it's a drone. The lifeguards of the future are flying high, ready to save the day. Heroes are one thing, but what about drone artists? This one has been busy filming crop circles. In Bavaria, Germany, something out of the ordinary turned heads. And drones. A giant crop circle appeared overnight. This was not just any doodle in the wheat. It was a design that could make even the most skeptical scratch their heads and wonder, aliens? Or a very bored farmer with a plank? This crop circle was a masterpiece of agricultural art that had crowds flocking to see it. It's become kind of like the countryside's own Mona Lisa. What did it mean? How did it get there? Well, one cool thing is this drone footage that shows us the big picture. The beauty in these crop circles lies not just in their designs, but in the mysteries they give us. They're like the Earth's way of joining in on the social media trend of cryptic memes, leaving everyone guessing. And if you thought strange crop behavior was cool, well, check out what's happening in the ocean in China, where they just dug up real treasure. China's latest deep sea expedition to the South China Sea turned into an underwater adventure hunt with a jackpot discovery of 66 cultural relics. Two vessels, Tansuo 1 and Tansuo 2, played the roles of maritime Indiana Jones. They dove into the abyss between 2,000 and 3,000 meters deep. What did they find? Not the lost city of Atlantis, but something equally mind-blowing. Three ancient ship hulls and a collection of glaze jars that have been chilling under the sea for centuries. This isn't just a cool story to tell at archaeology parties, it's a historic moment. For the first time, China's underwater archaeology has boldly gone where no one has gone before, in China at least, beyond the 1,000 meter mark smashing a record set in 2018. It's like breaking the sound barrier, but for underwater exploration. You might think the most secret place on Earth is the bottom of the ocean, but it actually might be the Amazon rainforest, where there are still uncontacted tribes, like in this next clip. In the dense, dark world of the Amazon rainforest, drones have spotted a civilization straight out of a hidden world fantasy. Along the border between Brazil and Peru, there's a tribe that's decided to skip the whole 21st century craze and stick to the classics. They're living in harmony with nature, untouched and uncontacted by the modern world. Yeah, they've never heard of TikTok, nuclear weapons, or even the Kardashians. Where do I sign up? The Brazilian government has been keeping an eye on them from a safe distance for two decades, ensuring their slice of paradise remains undisturbed. Enter the BBC, armed with a drone. They shot the first ever video footage of this tribe from over half a kilometer up in the air. Jose Carlos Mireles, the Indian affairs specialist who led this high-flying paparazzi mission, prefers giving the tribe a yearly scare with his flying machine to ensure they're thriving, rather than leaving them vulnerable to the less scrupulous who lurk in the forest. This footage isn't just for our amusement. It helps maintain a shield against threats of illegal logging and mining to these people. Let's just hope it doesn't give reality TV any ideas. The last thing the Amazon needs is its very own version of Survivor. But speaking of Survivor, have you ever imagined what it would be like to have your boat smashed by a giant wave? Check out our next clip to find out. So, we have a small boat out in the big, big ocean. This is the kind of scenario that screams adventure, with a side of, are we sure about this? Suddenly it was facing a wave so huge it could be a skyscraper's aquatic cousin. 
This was like David versus Goliath, if David were a boat and Goliath decided to take up surfing. The clip captures this little boat gearing up, speeding towards the wave with a true hold my beer attitude that you kinda can't help but admire. As the boat hits the wave, there's a moment where everything seems to hang in suspense. Doesn't it feel like the world's most dramatic pause button has been hit? Slow down, someone says, but the boat, like a rebellious teenager, has other ideas. It charges up the wave, defying gravity, logic, and probably a few laws of maritime safety. The onlookers cannot believe their eyes. Oh, he's going right up in this one, they say, half in awe, half in disbelief. Despite the odds, the boat stays true to its course, creating a wave and a triumphant display of sheer gutsiness. Or maybe it's total madness. And if you thought that was a dangerous boat ride, wait until you see this crazy yacht on fire. This was a spectacle that could easily be mistaken for a Hollywood blockbuster's climax. Amazingly, a drone captured the dramatic moment of a $24 million yacht being devoured by flames. Just look at the serene blue of the ocean contrasted with the fierce orange of fire. And we see it all from a bird's eye view, courtesy of a drone that happened to be at the right place at the wrong time. It's not every day that you see a floating palace turn into a bonfire. As the flames engulf this luxury vessel, one can't help but imagine the yacht's inner monologue. Maybe it was lamenting over its scorched deck or mourning the loss of its once pristine condition. This is a clear reminder that even the most opulent of creations are not immune to nature's wrath or a faulty wiring job. While no one wishes for such a fiery fate, the footage is mesmerizing, but probably kind of costly. But that's the power of nature. You never know when your yacht might just become the next internet sensation for reasons that you'd rather avoid. And while that was spectacular, our next drone rescue is completely nerve-wracking, as a boy is plucked from the sea by another drone hero. Okay, so this one's like a crazy Baywatch episode, but with a futuristic plot twist. A drone became the unlikely hero in a dramatic beach rescue. A kid was energy sapped, struggling to stay afloat in the unforgiving sea. The tension was palpable, the stakes were high, and then out of the blue, literally, a drone swooped in. But it wasn't there to capture the moment for Instagram. The noble job was to drop a life vest to the kid in distress. Thanks to the drone, those crucial seconds before the lifeguards could reach him with their jet skis were covered. It was like having a guardian angel, but instead of wings, it's got propellers. From one water drama to another, ever seen a backwards waterfall? Check out this next clip. Folks in southwest Utah have been questioning the laws of physics lately. One man set out to investigate the strange phenomenon. R.J. Hooper, along with a drone, filmed a spectacle so bewildering, it might just make you think you've walked into a world where gravity is on a coffee break. What looked like a waterfall decided to defy all expectations and flow upwards. And yeah, I said it right, upwards. This reverse waterfall, it isn't a CGI trick or an optical illusion, but a rare natural phenomenon. When strong winds have a disagreement with cliffs, they send water soaring upwards, as if the water suddenly remembered it left the stove on at cloud level. Sightings of these gravity-defying water antics are as rare as a quiet day on the internet, making Hooper's footage a must-see. And if you can't take your eyes off of that, then how about a waterfall of migrating butterflies? Coming up next. In a flutter of orange and black, Monarch butterflies grace the mountaintop forests of central Mexico with their presence. But in recent years, they've been showing up fashionably late. They're seemingly undecided about their winter residences, and they've been spotted casing the joint in the states of Mexico and Michoacan. It's as if they're checking out the neighborhoods before settling down. They traditionally arrive in time for the Day of the Dead observances, and the butterflies have long been seen as the returning souls of the departed, which is cool but also a little creepy. Every year, experts try to figure out, will this year's count surpass last season's increase in butterfly real estate? Only January will tell, as this is when the monarchs cozy up in their winter clumps on fir and pine branches. But before that, we're given an amazing spectacle to see. 
And if that wasn't enough for you, check out this real wave crashing into the country of Portugal. Nazare, Portugal isn't just any beach town. It's the Mount Olympus of surfing. This is where the gods of the sea and wind buddy up to create monster waves. This place is so legendary, it's where the ocean's might is on full display, and surfers from around the globe come to pay their respects. Garrett McNamara, an American surfer, was the first to put Nazare on the map by riding a then record-breaking 78-foot wave in 2011. Since then, the records have only gotten more jaw-dropping, with Rodrigo Coxa surfing an 80-foot monster in 2017 and Sebastian Studner topping that with an 86-foot behemoth in 2020. Nazare is where the ocean shows its true power, and humans on their tiny boards show their bravery. And who knows? Maybe one day we'll see someone conquer a 100-foot wave. In Nazare, it seems anything's possible. And if it all goes wrong, well, there's always the world's largest cemetery once they've fished you out of the depths. Let's go check it out up next. Wadi Al Salam, or the Valley of Peace, isn't a typical neighborhood. Located in Najafa, Iraq, this sprawling 917 hectare plot is the world's largest graveyard. Here, you can find over 6 million souls, including prophets, kings, and scientists. And they've all decided to set up their eternal residence in this spot. Imagine the dinner parties. For more than 1,400 years, people have been coming to this vast necropolis to say their goodbyes. So it's a kind of ancient, open-air history museum. Only here, the exhibits are a bit quieter and more underground. It's so large, you can't really see the end of it. It's just a sea. Visitors from around the globe flock to this site, not for the nightlife, obviously, but to pay respects and connect with history. Iraq is one of the places where civilization began. And while it might be the last place on Earth you'd expect to visit, it's definitely one for the books. Just don't expect any of the residents to ask you over for tea. From large groups of dead bodies to a large group of stingrays, let's see how they roll in our next drone masterpiece. Imagine heading to the beach, hoping to catch a glimpse of dolphins or maybe a shark. But instead, you find yourself in the middle of a huge stingray hunting thrill ride. That's exactly what happened to drone operator Justin Nadu at Anna Maria Island, Florida. Expecting the usual marine lineup, Justin's drone instead stumbled upon a massive gathering of stingrays. And then suddenly, the shark joined the performance, and the chase was on. The scene was so astonishing that Justin, probably with his jaw somewhere near the ocean floor, had to share it with the world. It's like the stingrays decided to throw a flash mob, and the shark just happened to be in the neighborhood, ready to poop the party. And next up, we have an altogether different group, migrants making their way across the U.S.-Mexico border. A drone caught the scale of the events. A thermal drone captured footage of a large group of migrants making a nocturnal trek across private property in Texas. The operator was maybe expecting to film the tranquil nightlife of Del Rio, but instead he found himself documenting a real-time human migration. The video quickly went viral with over 640,000 views. In it, you can see the group navigating the terrain in an organized fashion. The drone's eerie night vision turned those humans into glowing figures. In fact, the scene resembles something out of a sci-fi movie, like the slow march of fiery ghosts. But in truth, it's an image that reminds us of the complex challenges of modern migration and the politics that surround it. But if that seemed like a strange sight, how about a moose shedding its antlers? In the snow-dusted forests of New Brunswick, Canada, a wildlife enthusiast hit the jackpot. Not once, but twice. His drone caught a moose in the act of shedding its antlers. Derek Keith Bourgogne was out filming when he stumbled upon this once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. The moose decided eh, it's time for a change. With a shake of its head, it drops not one, but both of its antlers. It reminds me of a magician revealing his final trick. Derek, who could hardly believe his luck, described the event as winning the wildlife filming lottery. It's not every day you see a moose decide to go bald in the blink of an eye. Shedding antlers is a moose's way of saying out with the old, in with the new. 
It's an annual ritual, but catching both antlers dropping simultaneously on camera? That's as likely as finding a four-leaf clover on a leap. So hats off, or should we say antlers off, to Derek for capturing this moose in its moment of dramatic transformation. And now, how about a lake of lava? Well, we got you covered. It's next. This could easily be the plot of a drone's action-packed dream, if drones dreamt, that is. It all took place in the dramatic landscapes of Iceland. The drone's job was to shoot the awe-inspiring beauty of an erupting volcano in sweet, sweet fork. But as with all great epics, there's an unexpected moment of drama. Our drone, hoping to get that perfect shot, finds itself a tad too close to the action. And by action, we mean molten lava spewing like nature's own fireworks. For the drone, this was very much game over. Sometimes getting the perfect shot means getting burned. Literally. We're staying up north, but this time to Russia to look at some dancing reindeer. Prepare to believe in Santa Claus all over again. This is Russia's Kola Peninsula. We're talking about a major frostbitten part of the world, and maybe wanting to keep warm, a mesmerizing dance takes place here. Not of humans, but of reindeer. They're swirling in what's been called a cyclonic ballet. Check them all out, spinning in unison to form a living tornado. So is this some kind of furry black magic? Eh, not exactly. It's all to protect their young from predators. It's known as the reindeer cyclone, and this phenomenon is the Arctic Circle's version of a defense mechanism. Within this whirlwind, the vulnerable fawns find sanctuary in the eye of the storm. while the adults create a moving barrier that would make even the most determined hunter probably think twice. We all like to feel protected, so how about this isolated tribe who had a strong message for the outside world? A team of researchers managed to capture on film a secluded Amazon tribe, previously unseen by the outside world. This wasn't your typical paparazzi stakeout. In fact, it's so different it involves drones flying over the Amazon rainforest. They gave us a glimpse of a life so remote, it makes your off-grid fantasies look like a weekend camping trip. But it seems the locals, who look like a Deadpool cosplay convention in their red paint, weren't so keen on the drone, so they started shooting arrows at it. I think the message is pretty clear here. We're not interested in the latest Black Friday delivery deals from the other Amazon, so leave us in peace. The footage came courtesy of Brazil's Funai Agency. There are at least 107 uncontacted tribes in the rainforest, and it's a tough task to protect them from outside influence, especially if they're bow and arrow masters. But check out our next clip, in which a cameraman runs harder than the runners that he's filming. Okay, so I've heard of a showrunner, but what about this guy? At a college sports event in China, a student cameraman became the unexpected star. He was filmed outrunning the sprinters in a 100-meter dash while lugging around a hefty 4-kilogram camera setup. Just look at the cameraman dashing alongside the athletes. All the while, he's capturing the action with a speed that left onlookers and netizens alike both stunned and amused. The event was held at Datong University in Shangxi province. It was supposed to highlight the athlete's speed, but instead the spotlight swiveled to this nimble cameraman. Despite the heavy gear, it seemed like he embodied the spirit of the Flash. Ever since then, the internet's been claiming that the cameraman is the person who truly deserves the gold medal for his impressive display of speed and agility. If this secret athlete sent the wow factor up, then this next one will have it bursting into the stratosphere. How about having a whale as a best friend? A man kayaking off the Australian coast stumbled upon a humpback whale performing what appeared to be a gravity-defying headstand. This rare spectacle is known as tail sailing. It was filmed in stunning detail by Australian YouTuber Brody Moss, who was in awe. As Moss paddled closer, what looks like a weird oceanic rock turned out to be the tail of a humpback whale protruding from the water's surface. The whale, along with its calf, remained almost motionless. It was a serene and surreal sight against the backdrop of the open sea. This behavior is a head-scratcher for many, but it's also a rare gem in wildlife observation. Scientists think that tail sailing could be a whale's way of taking a breather. 
nursing, or just simply enjoying a good stretch. But the true reason remains as mysterious as the deep blue itself. If you enjoyed this moment of calm, well, prepare to change gears as we go face to face with a real avalanche. Next. A group of adventure seekers on Vancouver Island captured Mother Nature's raw power in a way that's bound to leave your jaw on the floor. A drone, operated by the YouTube channel MacTac FPV, was on the spot to document an epic avalanche on Mount Namint. All was calm, but then suddenly nature decided to put on a blockbuster performance. The drone operator scrambled to get his drone airborne just in time to catch the avalanche thundering down the mountain. Describing the avalanche as having an absolutely scary amount of snow, he noted that some chunks were as big as his truck. This was one snowball fight that you don't want to be a part of. Just think about the unpredictable nature of our environment. That is power. But from the powerful to the spooky as we take a look at some truly ancient coffins. A drone flying over the Anshan Caves in China stumbled upon something extraordinary. 1,800-year-old coffins. And these aren't just any old coffins, they're a look into a civilization from nearly two millennia ago. These people live nestled within the caves of Anshan. It's as if these coffins were just waiting for the right moment to be discovered, and our high-flying friend was more than happy to oblige. But locals have warned they may be kind of cursed, or at least leaving them undisturbed brings guaranteed peace and happiness. So let's check back in a year and see if the world's gone nuts. Oh wait, it already has? Well, at least we know why now. Now, being up that high can pose some challenges. I, I don't mean mentally, I mean physically. It's one thing being in a coffin, but what if a living person got stuck up that far? Our next guy had to be rescued from a very high perch. A young man in Kerala found himself in a real cliffhanger, literally. Our Babu decided to climb Charad Hill and Malapuza with friends, only to end up trapped between two rocks at the summit. While his friends called it quits, Babu pressed on, only to realize he might have pressed a bit too hard. So enter the Indian army who could count a couple of Everest summiteers among them. And let's not forget drones. This was a marathon effort. The victory selfies and relieved chants of Indian Army Kijai were the cherry on top of this dramatic rescue cake. Babu's ordeal turned into a two-day saga, and it ended with him being carried uphill by two members of the rescue team. The terrain, described as steep and treacherous, was no match for the team's resolve, though. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to hear more about the time that you got stuck on a hill and became an overnight sensation? Well, I'm gonna head out and start waving at the nearest drone passing overhead. Maybe I'll end up in our next YouTube drone video. See you in the next one.